Hello everybody, Anderson Gaming here and in this video I'll be showing you how you can get Fallout 3 to run on a Windows 11 machine. Uh, so the first thing you're going to have to do is uh, ensure that the game does not launch. Now I already have the game installed here so I'm just going to click on the green play button and after clicking on it, it will show the launcher and I'm going to click the play button on the launcher and after clicking on it, you'll see that the green play button reappears again. So, which means the game has shut itself down. Now, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to download a mod and install it. All right, so I'll show you how it can be done. Uh, open your browser, go to nexusmods.com. You can even look it up in Google. All right, and over here, look for Intel HD Bypass Package. That's the first download over there. All right. And then you can download it, but you need to log in. I don't have it logged in, so I'm just going to log in. I'm going to cut this part out. So um, you're going to have to create a new user account on this website, which could take time. So I think it, it must take about three to five minutes. Uh, hopefully you have time to spare. After that, click on slow download after you have selected the mod and the download will begin. And then after that, you're going to have to open it. And I'm using WinRAR. Uh, to open zip files, but maybe you can find your own software All right, such as 7-zip, which is a free uncompression software that you can find on the internet So if you don't have an unzipping program, make sure to get one So after you have opened the zip file, you can see that there are three files in here Now the D3, D9, DLL file, you can just drag and drop to the main directory of the game Now let me show it to you It's over here This is the main directory of the game of the year uh, version of the game for Steam so what we are going to do is drag and drop the D3, D9, DLL over here. And then the INI file, make sure you navigate to your documents and find my games, open Fallout 3 and drag and drop the INI file over here from the zip uh, file. All right. And let's see if it works now. Hopefully it does. I'm using a trackpad on my laptop, so my apologies if I'm quite slow. Let's see if it works. Okay. So make sure you go through your configuration settings over here. Uh, I am actually running a 3050. I'm not running a 7900 GS, but looks like that's what the uh, DLL and the, and the INI file is doing. So let's max everything out. Hopefully it does work. Ultra, okay, click on play, and there we have, we have launched the game, we are in the game. So let's continue even further. It will take a while, let's start the game, uh, before we do that let's check the settings. Okay, everything is working. Display, texture size. All right, game does look good on my laptop. Of course, the video you're going to be watching is going to be at 1080p. So you be the judge. Everything looks fine to me, but I'm playing on a trackpad, so I can't really move around. But all I wanted to do is show you the solution here. If you're running the game on a laptop, let me skip all this. I just want to ensure that the game is running. Okay. As shown here, the game is running fine. Let's see, baby boy. Okay, I don't want to spoil anything, so I'm just going to have to quit the game here. So let me know down in the comments if this works for you. Uh, if you do face any further issues, I'll be happy to make more videos providing you solutions, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're watching this video for the first time, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on bell notifications for all so you don't miss out on the next video or stream. Uh, comment down below if you have any feedback or suggestions. Uh, share my channel with your friends and families, guys. Uh, I think this solution only applies uh, for laptops because I also have a PC which is running Windows 10 and I did launch the game natively without having to 
uh, install any additional files and the game did launch fine without any problems so looks like this is very specific only for windows 11 enabled laptops uh, but i'm happy to have provided the solution it could take a couple of minutes but hopefully this video was short enough it's only about uh, seven minutes um, so yeah i don't want to waste any more further time thank you so much for watching appreciate you and i'll see you in the next one take care stay safe stay healthy and stay happy see you soon guys thank you all so much bye guys